ready for some fireworks. Give this man a competitive car, and he's absolutely electric, particularly around Mount Panorama. The time to beat at 2.10.01. He went a second under that in the warm-up this morning, so the car certainly has the speed. A little bit sideways as he comes out, trying to get these tyres up to temperature before he goes out on his hot lap. Thundering up the mountain straight. He'll reach speeds of 250 kilometres an hour. Three times V8 supercar champion. Also a former Bathurst winner. Can Craig Lowndes and Neil Crompton do it again in 2002? Oh, you can see how he's struggling for grip there. Seems like Neil, his tyres really only reached the optimum about halfway through the lap. That's right, Mark, and it will depend a little bit on their starting pressures. He's used all of the exit space there, not quite as much as Steve Ellery, but that was a bit uh, awkward for him on the exit of Turn 2 and the Mountain Straight. He, I was about to say that he picked up the throttle nice and early, but when he got onto the paint, that really hurt him, and you can see there that he's nearly 0.6 of a second slower on the split to Todd Kelly, and that's going to do fairly significant damage to his overall lap speed. And Todd Kelly played it cool, he just had a very neat, consistent lap and the cars we've seen run since have all got themselves into major trouble at some part of the circuit. So maybe that's the secret round here, particularly with this oil down in this part of the circuit. This has caught a lot of cars out. It was dumped by Glenn Seaton very early in the top 15 shootout. Craig's obviously aware of how tricky it is down through there. It takes a very conservative line. Well, he's clawed it right back. He's only two one hundredths slower than Todd Kelly, so he's had an electric second sector. He's very quick from skyline to the elbow. His uh, segment times down there all weekend have been very fast. Carrying plenty of speed as he thunders under our camera. Just about flat through the kink. Hard under brakes, down into the chase. Can Craig Lowndes do it? He's certainly within striking distance if he gets these last two turns right. On board with the green-eyed monster as he brings up Murray's corner now. Takes aim at this 2.10 that's been standing there from Todd Kelly. Can Craig Lowndes get underneath that time? He's had to fight from turn two, but all the way to the chequered flag, and he comes in fifth. 2.10, 2.48 for the double-zero motorsport Ford Falcon.